what kind of um, video would this be if my house wasn't a wreck behind me? Um, I was trying to like make it look good, trying to find a good spot to do this video, but uh, I don't even have all of this stuff for my tripod. So this is where it's gonna be. I'm just gonna stand up and um, do this video. I've been thinking about doing this for a really long time. As you guys know, part of um, this channel, a lot of it for the past couple years have just been me trying to simplify my life. And in that recently, I have found that I've been called to give up YouTube. There are some several reasons for my making this decision. I have mixed feelings towards uh, giving up YouTube. I recently have just been going through some old vlogs and I'm, I'm sad. Like, I loved filming our life. I love going back and looking at those videos. And it was just a fun time that Connor and I kind of got to share together. And as we started having kids, I filmed Riker's life a whole lot at the beginning. And um, those are super fun to go back and watch. And um, then I realized I didn't really want to share Riker's life on um, social media this much. And so I took those videos off YouTube. I stopped filming him as much. I started filming more cleaning videos, simplicity type videos. And um, that's kind of just like what my channel evolved into for a little while. I had our second baby Rory and she's barely ever been on this channel. Um, and I've liked it that way. But now me having two kids and I am starting a part-time job and um, I've just had to take a step back and realize that I no longer have the mental capacity to do YouTube videos and film YouTube videos for other people. Part of me really still wants to video important moments in our kids' lives and I'll have those videos for myself to look at. That's one of my favorite things that YouTube has brought is just the memories. Um, I'm really into scrapbooking so this is kind of like a digital scrapbook for me. Just like taking a look back, it's been so fun. Um, Connor and I made lots of videos back when we were like first married. Um, we had a video that went crazy. People took it as like an inappropriate video so I think it, that's why it got like tons of views and so I ended up taking that video down too. I filmed both of my births um, which has been such a crazy experience just getting to go back and like watch those videos. I've since taken Riker's birth vlog off since he's gotten older. Um, I know I will eventually take Rory's video off as well um, just so I can have those for private reasons and uh, just to protect their privacy as well as they grow older. I don't even know how many subscribers I have right now. I think at one point we had like 35,000 subscribers. We had, um, we've worked with so many different brands um, that I didn't even think would be possible when I first started YouTube. Just over the past, I've noticed um, that if you don't stick to it and have a consistent schedule, um, you will start losing views. You will start losing followers. Um, and that's kind of what's been happening on this channel. I actually don't even think I've monetized anymore on YouTube. Um, and it was never really fully about the money, but I really kind of hoped that I would be able to make money doing YouTube because it was something that I really enjoyed, but it is a full-time job. Right now in my life, my full-time job is being a mother. And I do now have a part-time job, um, but I could never dedicate fully full-time to YouTube. That was never what I wanted to do. And so the numbers reflected that. There have been so many of you, like there's probably a couple hundred of you who still consistently watch our videos. And I'm, let me tell you, so, so thankful. I don't know how long some of you have been here um, just watching our videos, but it's been, it's been fun. It's been fun just interacting with um, some of you guys. And I am really sorry to say that I will, I am going to miss you. And I feel like just like a little piece of our life is kind of just going away as we grow older. This just isn't something that we can do anymore. That's pretty much all I had to say. I think um, I'm just super grateful for everyone that has continued to watch. You know, for the money that we were able to make on YouTube, it was nice to have a little bit of money. Um, and I am just humbled at um, the work that some people do on YouTube to grow their channels and um, so yeah, I definitely think go support those people who um, have worked really hard for their channels and, and keep it real. My experience on YouTube was never to glamorize my life. It was always to try to keep things um, real 
and raw. I've shared issues about like postpartum anxiety a lot with my son, but even just watching videos from Connor and I five years ago, it is clear to see how much our marriage has grown. Um, and so it's just, I guess my point is that go find the YouTubers and the bloggers that kind of keep it real, I guess. Go support them because they are working their tails off. This is truly a full-time job. It takes a lot of work and it's something that I'm gonna have to step away from right now in my life and probably forever. Before I completely let you go, um, and if you're watching to the end of this video, then I know you actually probably care about this. Um, I do have an Instagram where I'm gonna be sharing videos, I'm sorry, maybe videos, maybe pictures, videos, all sorts of fun stuff. Occasionally um, on Instagram right here about organizing and just home decor and stuff because I still do have a passion for that um, and I do wanna share that still. Um, so I'm gonna put the link or just the handle name right here um, if you do want to go check that out. Um, so back to McKenna to tell you goodbye. That to say, I will miss you. Connor will miss you. He's at work right now. Um, he doesn't even know I'm filming this because I didn't know I was filming this today, but I knew I wanted to film it for a really long time. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you guys so much and I will not see you next time. Bye.